Howdy, friendos. My name is Stuart, and welcome to the final part of our Adam Sandler trilogy this month. If you haven't seen our Billy Madison, our Little Nicky reviews, or even our Happy Gilmore video, be sure to check them out. Also, while you're at it, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, and share the video around. And be sure to stick around this channel, because in October, I'll be looking at least one more Adam Sandler property. Just for you guys. Anyway, our story follows Longfellow Deeds, a small town pizzeria owner who is also the Mandrake Falls volunteer fire chief, a generally nice guy, and dreams to one day have Hallmark accept one of his card ideas. He also wants to get married and live a wholesome matrimonial life like his parents. One day, his life is flipped and turned upside down when he discovers that he is the only known heir to Preston Blake, the owner of the Blake Media Empire, and is just worth an obscene amount of money. This movie is mostly seeing what a small town hick does with pretty much unlimited resources. Deeds himself, however, is an honest, cheerful guy and is willing to let things slide with a laugh and a hug. He owns up to his mistakes and only gets physical if anyone insults or hurts a woman. Fucking based. Absolutely bizarre for an Adam Sandler character, but Deeds starts at lawful good, actually. It's a weird and very different Adam Sandler character, but, you know, similar personalities, but I am excited to tackle it. There's not much more to talk about, but with that out of the way, let's go. However, before we go, did you know that you can watch the next three alignment videos ahead of schedule by becoming a channel member, a patron, or a Twitch subscriber? Whichever one is most convenient for you, you can just go ahead and do that. Becoming any of these premium members gives you access to the next three alignment videos on your select platform and gives you a spot at the end credits of our alignment videos and gaming videos. Each membership also gives you access to another unique set of benefits. YouTube Premium gives you access to stickers and emojis not available anywhere else, and sometimes a fourth bonus alignment video. Patreon gives you access to monthly wallpapers, lore packets, and access to the uncut archive of our D&D campaigns. And Twitch gives you access to a different set of emote stickers and access to our entire streaming library. If you're especially ambitious and want to collect all three Infinity Stones of the Loading Crew, this gives you access to a special title in our Discord. It's mostly bragging rights, but hey, you're better than everyone else. Check any of the links in the description to gain access and help support the channel. Why would you do that to me? I'm just kidding you, pal. <laughs> you, you want me going there? <laughs> Returning from making deliveries, Deeds meets Chuck Cedar and Cecil Anderson of Blake Media. Deeds greets the men while going on about his day, helping other people and trying another Hallmark card. Dude is barely bothered even when he learns he inherited a media empire and a vast fortune. He agrees to go with them to New York for business, especially when he discovers circa 2002, press could come to the town. Lawful good. I'm so happy I got the Big Bacon Classic. Thanks for stopping, buddy. This is unbelievable. Leaving the pizzeria to his employees while he's gone, Deeds is very polite to everyone, only stopping for a Wendy's craving. He gets the... <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, that's actually very funny. <laughs> I don't know why. He gets the offer to go out for a gentleman's club, but turns it down politely before getting his picture taken. Neutral good. The last 35 years of his astonishing life. Oh, you kind of snuck up on me there. I am very, very sneaky, sir. Now in charge of the Blake estate, Deeds quickly begins getting to know each of the employees at the penthouse. He's polite, letting everyone have fun, and even reveals a little bit about himself. It's neutral good, but I want to give a chaotic neutral for the improv Sandler added here at the end. What's up? Doing a little business. Woohoo! Woo Checking in with Chuck, Deeds checks to see if he's needed for anything. They're interrupted by a Jets quarterback swearing up a storm and demanding a contract renegotiation. Deeds does give him a warning before decking him and firing him. Technically, he's allowed to do this. I had to label it as lawful evil for punching the dude. Here you go. Molest me. Do Marty, you molest me! You got it! Oh god! Come on. Help! Getting a tour of New York, Deed sees a disgusted, randomly generated Adam Sandler girlfriend, number 13, Bay Bennett, calling herself Pam, orchestrating a cute meetup. Seeing a woman in distress, Deeds goes to help. That's an easy neutral good. And oh, Deeds, holy shit! Uh, <laughs> you got him! Chaotic neutral. You can argue with me on that all you want, I don't care. And also wore more cologne than any man should wear. I got this back for you, though. Returning the purse, Deeds meets Pam, making sure she's okay and learning about her. Smitten, he offers to take her to dinner and has zero filter about why he's there or his personal life. Lawful good. Well, that's nice. I may seem funny to you, but if you came to Mandrake Falls, you might seem funny to us. 
Well, nobody would laugh at you and make you feel stupid because that wouldn't be good manners. So Deeds does realize he's being insulted by other members of a high society, but tries to let it go. He only attacks when Babe insists it's okay. After paying for the damages, he, Babe, and the gratuitous cameo go out on the town and get absolutely hammered. Chaotic evil for the beating up and chaotic neutral for going out partying. How'd they get that footage? Realizing the public relations nightmare he just caused, Deeds apologizes and tries to make up for it. He attends his uncle Preston's funeral and tries to be on his best behavior. Good intentions with some different results, I guess. Neutral good. I just want to thank you for teaching my boy a lesson. Not a problem, sir. He's a good kid. He's just got to watch his language in front of the ladies. After getting an apology from the quarterback he fired, Deed talks with Babe about the night before. He keeps his promise and offers to take her out on an innocent date with no booze. Dude even overpays for some bikes when he gets to learn more about her. Lawful good. Let's get going. To the fire? Yeah. Seeing a nearby fire in the middle of their date, Deeds rushes in and helps save the tenants and her cats. That's an easy, lawful good, I think. I was thinking of going down to that inside access place and giving Mac McGrath the beating of a lifetime. Frustrated by his portrayal with the press, Deeds talks with his friends about life. Inspired by his uncle, he decides to stick around longer and actually help people with his money. Neutral good. You gotta be shitting me. Deeds in earnest surprises Pam with a trip back to her hometown of Winchesterson Fieldsville. This is very earnest and he believes a fun treat for her. When he does, he sees a kid choking. Deeds stays so babes can save him. He then caps off the date with a card he made just for her. Lawful good for all of that. Believing Babe's the one, Deeds goes all out and readies to pop the question. Too bad he realizes to his horror that Pam never existed. Neutral. The good news is the paper's ready, so once you sign them, we'll get our stock and you'll get your $40 billion. Jaded by the truth, Deeds decides to give his money away and return home. I know some would argue that giving it away to a money is an automatic lawful good, but he's just disgusted by the money and doesn't care. As such, we'll be giving this a lawful neutral instead. Don't worry about what happened. Time heals all things. Except these crazy eyes. Returning home, Deeds gives up his dream of creating a Hallmark card and goes about delivering pizzas. This continues until he finds Babe wanting to apologize for her behavior, which he doesn't believe. While he does have every right to be mad at her, this is a chaotic evil act because of how kind of nasty he is about it, I guess. But it's quickly followed by a neutral good when he saves her, so it evens out. No. I really love you. After saving her, Deeds listens to Babe's confession. Despite everything, Deed confesses that he doesn't even know the real her, so true neutral. Unfortunately, since you sold me a 300 million shares, you have no right to speak at this meeting. Deciding to save his uncle's company from Chuck dissolving it, Deeds buys a share so that he can make his case. In a room full of industrialists and capitalists, Deeds makes an impassioned speech to overturn the dissolution of the company. It works, and thanks to Babe, they oust Chuck from the spot and discover the secret heir of Preston Blake, Emilio the butler. Lawful good. Deeds. How about a billion dollars? With the company saved, Deeds decides to give Babe another shot and saves Cecil's job. Thanking Emilio, Deeds only wants friendship, but he will take a billion dollars to give to his hometown. Lawful good. Damn, these things are fast. I had a lot of fun rewatching Mr. Deeds, and I think it's because uh, it's the most different out of the Sandler movies. It's weird that I keep saying that because, like, we've actually covered like a lot of different characters. Uh, and while movies like Happy Gilmore, Billy Madison, and Little Nicky were dumb goofballs learning to take responsibility, Deeds is actually a good person trying to stay good the entire time. This could have easily been a movie where we see money corrupts and Deeds becomes the worst person over the movie, but in reality, Deeds is just true to his character and wants to help people out at every chance he can. Even when he finds out he's been lied to, he continues to want to help the people of Mandrake Falls, but gives up on his dreams. But we see repeatedly that he uses his fortune to make people happy and help out anyone he can. Even if he does rude and he does beat people up pretty quickly for offending women. But then again, the way he defends women in this movie, I, f I find is very, you know, traditional defending honor kind of thing. So I find it based. 
but it is a bit much, I will admit. But yeah, if you have any other Sandler movie suggestions, just let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget, in October, we will be doing several Halloween-themed movies, so I think you know which Adam Sandler movie we're doing that. But thank you to the patrons, and I'll see you next time. You spoke beautifully, sir. Spoke of life, love, art.